Hi everyone, this is Kamel. We've learned how to make a timeline video that looks like this. Today, I'll be showing you how to make another type of timeline video. This looks more commercial and technological, and it's easier to do. If you're into this, keep watching. In today's video, what do we need to prepare is the background of video, pictures or videos related to the theme, text clips that's gonna show on the video, and a piece of music that fits the theme. Among them, the text clips can be made inside the video product flagger. Okay, let's open video product flagger and start making the text clips. Let's open Video Prog Flagger and create a new 1080p project. Let's make a text clip first. Click here to create a new text clip. Changing the font and the color. According to the color of the background footage, I choose blue. This can make the color tone of the overall feel balanced and harmonious. Don't forget to decrease offset if we don't need a shadow. Firstly, let's enter a year over here. Adjust the size and the position to make the text located in the center. Then click the snapshot button in the upper right corner. After that, changing the text content and again, take a snapshot. Here, you can enter any text as needed. Let me make a quick demonstration. After preparing the screenshots of these text clips, we can start the edit. Add all the material into Video Prog Flagger first. Put this background video on the timeline. Click on Transitions. Select Wipe 1. Well, now there is an opening effect. Then we put the prepared pictures on the overlay track and adjust the duration. Find a transform on the inspector panel and choose fade to the screen width. Then we go to fade and move. Check fade in and set the duration to around 1.4 seconds. Then add two overlay tracks. Add the text clips to the tracks. Find the Compacity on the Inspector panel and select Linear Dodge. Similarly, find the Fade and Move. Check Fade In. Set the duration to around 1.2 seconds. Then let's check Fade Out and make it last for 0.75 seconds. Reposition it and adjust its duration. Let's take a preview. Well, it looks good. Next, let's add some details. First, let's scale up the text a little bit. Select the text clip and choose Motion. Add a keyframe at the start position. Resize it like this. And add a second keyframe to the end point. 
Enlarge the selected range. Click on Apply. Then add the same motion effect to the other text clip. Last, I want the aspect ratio of the image to match that of the project. Besides, I want the image to appear slowly, gradually zoom in, and then quickly scale up to fill the entire canvas. Let's select the image and click on Crop. Select 16 by 9 and click Apply. Again, click on this, select the fit to the screen width, and then choose Motion. Click here to add the first keyframe. We don't need to make any edits. Then come to this point and add the second keyframe. After that, add the third keyframe at the end. Next, let's go back to the first keyframe. Zoom out on the selection range to make the image look smaller on the screen. Meanwhile, let's reposition it to make it appear on here. Then we come to the second keyframe. Similarly, zoom out on the selection range. But this time, we scale up the image a little bit and place it closer to the center. Finally, select the last keyframe. Zoom in as much as possible to create a fast scale up effect. Also, changing the speed mode to speed up. Click Apply. Check how the result. Hmm, looks good. Finally, we put the music on a timeline and make the video match the music beat. Decorate it with the flash effect. That's it. We can edit the rest of the clips using the same steps. Based on our needs, we can add as many chapters as possible. It's super easy to do, isn't it? That's all for this video. Feel free to visit our homepage to find more tutorials about lots of awesome effects. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel so you are notified as soon as we post anything new. See you in the next video. Bye!